Hi. Um, I don't know where to begin. Actually, I do. Um, I'm gonna begin with this. If it looks like I have a black eye, um, it's because I kind of do. I'm okay, I'm fine, no one hit me. I just, um, I walked into like the car door threshold. I was distracted, I was like looking that way, and I thought I ducked enough to get into the car, but I, I ended up like smacking my head like right, right in the orbital bone. It's been like four days and it's still, it's finally like kind of fading away a little bit. I tried to cover it up with makeup, but I don't think it did anything. Um, that plus my, I'm gonna stop, my super aggravated pimple. I'm not really um, looking very gorgeous today, but I just wanted to make a video because I'm so overwhelmed and thankful and grateful to everyone who watched my video on my 30 day, one meal a day challenge. Um, I, I am like, my mind is blown so everyone who commented and liked and supported thank you so much i really appreciate it i honestly just made this video for me i'm working on myself um physically mentally health wise trying to be the best version i could be and i'm challenging myself to different things to find out what works for me um and anyway because of that I didn't really clarify some things um, or talk about things um, in the video because it was just for me and my family and stuff like that. So I thought I would make a quick little update video to answer a lot of questions and concerns and comments and make some clarifications. So the first one is the update. What am I up to now? What has happened since the 30 day challenge? And um, am I still fasting? So yes, I am still fasting. I enjoy fasting. My body does well fasting. My relationship with food has improved. So um, I don't fast every day and I don't do one meal a day either all the time. I kind of just follow what my body feels like um, when it's hungry versus when it's not. I do some kind of intermittent fasting about two times or three times a week. Like I said, it's not like solid. Some some weeks I just don't want to and some weeks I do three times, four times a week. Um, and sometimes I do one meal a day and sometimes I don't. I do like 16-8 which is I fast for 16 hours a day and I eat for eight hours or um, the other one I do a lot is 20 and four which is fast for 20 hours a day and eat for four hours and I am liking it I have maintained the weight I weighed myself at work I don't have a, a scale at home because I don't want to be obsessive about my weight um, but I weighed myself at work yesterday and I normally do about twice a week or once a month just to see where I am at and I think I was about 164 pounds, which is relatively where I was when I ended the challenge. Um, and also throughout the year, it's almost been a year since I've done that challenge, even though I only uploaded it two months ago. It's been almost a year. Yeah, it was last last fall, so a year. Um, and I've I've kept it, and I've fluctuated a little bit. I ranged between like 160 to 167 in my weight, which I think is pretty good because I've done a lot of yo-yo dieting and then binge eating. Um, like within a year, within a month, I would gain 10, 20 pounds. So I have felt very stable in this and that's why I continue to do it. Actually, outside of weight, Measurements are also much better indicators. So I'm gonna just measure my waist right now. Ooh, let's see. Do, 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 do. So I am at 31 inches, 31 and a half inches approximately. That's literally the definition of maintenance. I've I've been the same and I'm actually pretty happy with that. I also seen a lot of comments about um, jumping into one meal a day um, and like fasting right away at, from nowhere is like not a good idea and I agree a hundred percent. I actually 
did not just start off with this video and I also did not just start off with one meal a day I've been fasting on and off for almost three years now and I started very slowly um, with a very large feeding window I think I started with like 12 hours feeding window which is like normal kind of like a normal waking hours almost or yeah would be like normal waking hours I I that helped me a lot because I was a really late night snacker and um, Netflix binge eater and from there I started um, naturally progressing to a smaller and smaller feeding window till I got to one meal a day so I didn't just jump into this out of nowhere and I would recommend anyone to jump into this out of nowhere um, the other thing is about the health and unhealthiness of fasting and um, if it could trigger eating disorders or it's the early ages of eating disorders or things like that um, I am not an expert I am not your health care professional I am not your doctor everyone should be doing their due diligence before making um, a change like this with their feeding habits and make sure they're okay with that because everybody's different and everyone has um, different needs and different bodies with different underlying conditions that we don't know about so that's number one number two is I can definitely understand how fasting and not essentially not eating right for certain times a day can be seen as um, an early stage of an eating disorder or something that can trigger this eating disorder um, but fasting is not a fad it's something that's been done since the beginning of human time it's um, followed in a lot of cultures and a lot of religions I actually grew up with it um, it's some it's a way to get more spiritual more connected it's not just about losing weight and today very early stages of research the research on mice have shown there to be benefits of fasting there's early stage research on humans right now to look at the benefits of fasting um, but personally for me my fasting experience has made me have a healthier relationship with food. Food used to be something I had no control over. It was mindless, um, it was emotional, it was a crutch, it was a way for me to kind of fill any holes in my life, literally and figuratively. And fasting helped me deal with my cravings head on and it made me feel powerful and in charge and um, it kind of slowed down the whole just pick up the food and stuff it in your mouth and now I take into consideration how I really feel when I have certain cravings um, and then I also eat when I'm hungry and I think that's helped me tremendously I think that's what a healthy relationship with food should look like um, I still indulge here and there because life is short and sometimes you want your chocolate cake and that's okay um, but I try to eat better and fasting I found has helped me eat better and that's just been my experience so I just wanted to make a video to kind of update everyone I am actually right now doing another one meal a day 30 day challenge um, out of I do want to lose some more weight and also I out of curiosity because my last video I ate whatever I wanted in the feeding window um, and now I actually want to track calories and eat at a deficit and see what the difference is between the two and so far I'm, I'm I feel good so no complaints there but anyway, if you subscribed, if you're watching this video, if you watched the other video, thank you so much. I really appreciate all the support and the comments and just the wonderful people who, who, who shared their experiences too and who are also going through their own struggles with food and fasting and trying to lose weight or trying to gain weight, whatever it is you are struggling with, we're all in this together. And if you subscribed, you join this community I hope that we can make a little family and support each other and encourage each other and learn from each other I 
mentioned this earlier, but I am a layman, a lay woman, a lay person. I, I'm not an expert, I'm not a nutritionist. I don't have everything down. I'm just trying to figure out what works for me and sharing my experiences. So if you have a different experience or if you want to link to other research or other things, please in the comments below. Also, if you have more questions, um, that you want me to answer or any more ideas of how to improve my fasting experience Put it down below and thank you guys so much. I am So grateful and so thankful and so appreciative to all of you. So thank you Mwah.